no disrespect to Kentucky State. Um, they'll be very good in their league. But, it, but it's a game, it's, it's, and this is no disrespect. We knew we were just better than Kentucky State. All right, well, you can figure out how you're going to play the game. You're going to try to use it to get better, or we're just going to play it and beat them 30 or 40 and not get better. Um, our goal was to get better from this game, no matter what the score was. And our guys did that. And the number one place it started at was defensively, the effort you play with. Because it's easy to play to that score when you're up big. We didn't do that all night long. Our guys stayed focused. Uh, they kept working defensively. Um, and that's the biggest thing I'm most pleased of. You know, there's some things that we got to keep getting better at. That second group brings lots of energy. Uh, it's very obvious I'm trying to get them to talk where they can adjust and flow the game and run things. Uh, we don't do that great yet. Um, and, and that's why I'm on them. You know, flu and woo. Uh, and I, I know that with them. But they play hard, and they will get better from it. Uh, but getting that group to talk uh, is going to be the difference in winning and losing in close games. Every game is not going to be this way. So we got a little bit better from that, too. You know, anytime you move the ball and share the ball, I think we had 29 assists. Um, 19 for it's 27 or 29 from three-point line. I mean, you're not going to. You're not going to lose too many of those kind of games. E-Man had 10 assists, six or seven guys in double figures. But again, the thing, thing I take from it is not anything, anybody's points, is how hard we played. And that was the key to us tonight. And we didn't, and you all know this, we never try to run up a score, ever. I just want my guys to play hard and play it till the clock goes off. And just so happened we did that, and the score kind of got, you know, one side a little bit. Questions? Uh, you know, Coach, I know you talked a little bit about that three-point shooting. Um, I'd say it starts with Luke Brampton, five of six last game, six of seven from three here tonight. You know, looking back at last year, doesn't make a three in his first two games, and it's one of his first 19 on the season. You know, how good is it just to see him starting off, you know, the way he's capable of? Well, first off, you should see how much uh, easier, better shots he gets. There's a reason for that. You know, last year, we didn't have but one guy I could really dribble that basketball, and that was Davey. And I tell Cam every day, now he's on the staff. You could shoot it, you wasn't a very good dribbler. And because of that, Luke don't get a lot of, a lot of easy shots. Now we got multiple guys out there can dribble and pass that thing. E-Man, E-Man sprayed that thing everywhere. Uh, the floor is spread. Um, and Jarius keeps it spread. Jarius is playing really well. So when that ball moves and you get a higher percentage shot, um, we've always said Luke was a good shooter. And now he's getting really high percentage shots. And he is zeroed in. But I think it was nine guys made threes tonight. I would say that's some kind of record too. Check it out, Dana. I'd say that's a record. Nine guys making, nine different guys making a three-pointer. The 19 made three-pointers was a record, right? Program record and arena record. Okay. Check out nine people make, making them. I, I think that's a record for sure. What else you got to do tonight? Uh, the points in the first half. What was that? I got to look that up. 67. First half points? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jerry, you can look that, figure that stat out, too, while you do have anything to do. Okay. When did you decide to go to the hockey like replacements, taking five out from the five? When, when did that kind of come to mind? Uh, when you have enough players to do it with. That's where it starts with. You remember this. You were with me. 209. Remember what we won that year? Won down in Orlando. The you, term, the SEC tournament. And won it. How did we, what did we do? We got platooned. players who could play. We platooned. And that second group was, they were different than the first group. And the energy, uh, making another team adjust. And we'll get this second team doing some things different than the first group did. Uh, well, they just got to learn. I mean, they're all new. Remember, six out of ten of these guys had never played here before. And that bunch, every one of them is new. So it's adjustment for them. Um, 
You know, as long as it. Find the rules, or you want them to define themselves. As you go well, we got to help them find some things. We got to help them figure out, you know, things they got to do better. Um, but while they're doing all that, just play hard. You know, I was, I was pleased with this. I don't know if it's ever came out of anybody's mouth before. Dante Allen playing hard, getting better defensively. I don't know if there's anyone ever said that before. He's getting better defensively now. We're not there, but he is getting better. As a coach, we're going to continue to take advantage of what he does best, work on the things he don't do as well. But defensively, I saw him up in the lane. I saw him get some deflections. Um, you might have to go back, look hard in the film to find any of that before he got here. You know, another one of those power five transfers, Christian Lander. You know, Thursday night, it's a big free for you guys. That's 13 tonight, free addition night for him. You know, he's you know, a younger guy, reclassified, didn't see much time at Indiana. Um, but, you know, getting some significant minutes now, you know, what have you thought of him early on this season? I think he's been really good. You know, I have a lot of confidence in him. You know, again, y'all remember I say this. It ain't one through five is the key to your team. It's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those guys are the key to your team. I mean, there's some starters coming off that bench. But it's how those guys not just play the role. There's a difference in playing your role and accepting your role. you got to be able to accept that. That's the key to this team. Um, there's a lot of guys off that bench can score baskets. I have a lot of confidence in Landers now. He can score multiple ways. Uh, I don't know if we've really seen him get in a – a uh, uh, role of some abilities he can do. Um, but you can see he can shoot it. He has the ability to put it on the deck. Um, he's just a sophomore. You know, a whole bunch of bunches, sophomores, one junior in Rawls, right? And one freshman. Yep. Coach, when you're playing against a team that has a stretch five, they put the guard on away from, you know, the basket. How do you keep that from? Well, it's hard. It's hard. And, you know, those first two exhibition games we played, uh, those five guys both shot the basketball. You know, it, it's easy to go zone, eliminate that. We can eliminate it some. Uh, I don't want to eliminate it this time of the year. I want us to keep getting better at it. Uh, Eastern didn't have a guy that could uh, stretch that floor. Um, starting guy tonight couldn't stretch it. His backup guy could stretch it. You know, remember at halftime, they had eight three-pointers at halftime. They only had two two-point field goals at halftime. But the second half, they only make one three. And through 40 minutes, that pace gets into your legs. You know, David McKnight, you know, pick that guard up. First half, that guy made three threes, didn't he? Second half, he don't make a one. So our pace through 40 minutes but that depth wears on people. It gets into you, it gets into your legs, it gets into your lungs. Over 40 minutes. Happen again tonight. Teams don't shoot the ball near as well. Darius Miles, uh, you know, not in that first kind of you know, players in the game, but you know, everybody can see the work he put in this summer. Um, you know, with this body transformation, how good was it just to see him kind of get rewarded for that tonight? Hey, listen, uh, we, we love Darius Miles. And what you love about him, first off, he's a great young man. When anybody can lose 75 pounds in one year, I tell you what he's made up of, what kind of person he is, how much winning means to him, how much uh, how hard he's willing to work to get better. Now he just has to adjust more to the speed of the game, get his feet better. And unfortunately, we have flu. You know, flu's been a guy that's pretty good. A different dimension in Jamar because he can step out and shoot that basketball. Um, but there, there's going to be there's going to be nights this year. Someone goes down. Someone has foul trouble. Uh, that Darius is going to come off that bench and help us win games. And it's not easy to always. Stay positive. Um.
the good people, you have more opportunity and ability to do that. And he's a great young man. There's nobody I'd rather see be more successful in him than I would. Uh, that's the kind of person he is. And he will in time. He's just a sophomore. Be patient. We got that weight off. Let's get better as a player now. Coach, you shot down 58% from three Thursday, 65% today. Um, both of those daily improvements from the two exhibition games. Um, was Clover issue you make those practices? No, no. You know, we have some guys capable of making shots. You know, as long as you taking good shots, I have total confidence in those right guys. Uh, we don't have. I don't think we have any bad shooters taking bad shots. There's several guys that are going to make shots. I have confidence in Davey. E-Man can make them. Luke's lights out. Jerry's can make them. Now, if Jamar starts pulling up every trip, then maybe we have to talk about that a little bit. But Landers can make them. Wu can make them. Dante can make them. Flu can make them. So it's nine different guys tonight that made them. So. Again, our focus was one thing. It was it, how hard we play. That's all I care about, how hard we play defensively. You do that, all that other offense is going to take care of itself. And that's why we had 27, 27 assists. Is that right? 27 assists tonight. Last one, Jared. Here we go. You're not going to make Elliot ask a question. Where's he at? I ain't seen him. He's back there. Oh, he's hiding on me. Come on up here, Elliot. It's the old times. Come on. Get on up here. Hey, listen. Because you're a lawyer don't mean you can't ask questions now. Huh? Give me one Give me one question. Give me one. Well, I'm not a lawyer, but what surprised you through you had a couple of exhibitions to different games, to different kinds of games? Has anything surprised you about? Elliot probably... Um, no. We have a lot to learn because there's six new guys out there. Go ahead. What was you going to say? I said it's okay to say no. No, that's not. No, that's, that's not the case. You know, I, I think I didn't think we were near as good at either exhibitions. Jay Moore was out for a couple days. Lost 10 pounds in about four days. E-Man was out. E-Man didn't play to one exhibition, did he? Right. Is that right? Didn't play. didn't play. He was out five or six days, and he wasn't himself at, at Eastern Kentucky. I see him getting better now. I see him starting to get a little game experience. I saw Jamar be a little more active tonight. Um, no, nothing has surprised me that I haven't seen this fall. You know, when you get into games, guys play different sometimes. You have game slippage. I think we've been pretty good with that game slippage being minimized a little bit. You know, some guys may look to turn those lights on, try to shoot a little bit more than you do in practice, Elliot, but it hasn't been um, a real, you know, issue in any way. I think you can see these guys, I think they really like each other. But all stars are having good people. Good people. Yeah, I got you confused a little bit with our guy that went to law school. Brad. Brad. Um, where's Brad at? He's a lawyer now, right, Brad? So you know we lose another one, don't you? You guys just come and go. Anything else? All right, thank you. <laughs> Brad.